Okay, you're right. This is our first video lesson on the new topic called percentages. So we finished with equations. I just want to say that thank you for your patience in waiting for material from me for lessons. It's been a very hectic past three days. I've been training my staff and buying your equipment so that we can deliver video lessons which are good quality on a regular basis. So we've had a lot of learning to do on how to transition from classroom teaching to online delivery of lessons using videos. We didn't want to just send YouTube videos to you. We wanted, we wanted to be able to also make our own videos. So we've had a lot of learning to do. Thank you for your patience, but now you'll be getting regular lessons from me. And so no more days without math same work, unfortunately. Okay, now let's look at percentages. It's a very important topic. Everywhere you go in the shops, you're going to see percentages used. They're most often used in sales. So if there's a sale, they might say 20% off, 50% off, but you'll see percentages used all over the world in lots of different contexts. Okay, so you could even look at coronavirus st uh, statistics with percentages. So sports, percentages. So for example, the really good free throw shooters, the really top Free throw, uh, free throw shooters are usually shooting about maybe 80% or higher. The top three point shooters, they're shooting close to 50%. So Steph Curry, I think he's 50, maybe 55, 58%. So, but your average three point shooter is doing about, probably about 35%, so that's about a third. That means out of every three shots, the three point shooter is only getting one in. So that shows you how hard it is even for the professionals. But let's talk about percentages and what they mean. A percentage is a fraction whose denominator is 100. So what I want you to do is to copy that down into your books. You can pause the video if you want to. Okay, so for example, let me just change colours, make it a bit more interesting. So e.g. 3%, what does that mean? It means 3 over 100. Okay, 7%. What does that mean? 7 over 100. Okay. And by the way, what does 3 over 100 mean? It also means 3 divided by 100, doesn't it? Okay, here it also means 7 divided by 100 because we know the fraction line means division. Okay, what about 5%? Well, that means 5 over 100. And some, some percentages can be simplified. So we've got, say, 1 over 20. 5 over 100 simplifies to 1 over 20. So... Those are all examples of percentages. You can even have percentages which is uh, bigger than 100. So 120% means 120 over 100. Okay. Now pause the video if you need, so write that down. And then we're going to look at these examples here. We're going to look at converting each percentage into a simplified fraction. So everything I do on the board I want you to copy. Let's have a look at our first question here. Alright, so. We've got to convert this into a simplified fraction. Now we know that that's 55 over 100 because percent means over 100. Now you can use your calculator for this. So you can use your fraction button and put 55 over 100 and then press enter. And you should get 5. No, sorry, not 5, that's wrong. That's 11 over 20, what am I thinking? Okay, now with a calculator, that's what you get. Now, to do this without a calculator, you would think of a number which goes into the numerator and denominator. In this case, five works. So divide numerator and denominator by five, you're gonna get 11 over 20. Okay, that'll get you some of the marks in the test, whatever, if we do have a test on this, and this will get you all of the marks if you can simplify it. But you can use your calculator to do that, that's okay. Now. Over here, 130%. What does that mean? 130 over 100. There you go, you just converted it to a fraction. Now, to convert it to a simplified fraction, use your calculator, use the fraction button. You should get 13 over 10. Without a calculator, you've got to think of a number which goes into the numerator and denominator, and that is 10. Okay, that's the highest common factor of both those numbers. So divide by 10, divide by 10, you get 13 over 10. Next one. What about this one? Well, percent means over 100. There you go, you just converted it into a fraction. 
Get your calculator out. Now, this is a bit of a tricky button press. Um, you're going to have to use your mixed numeral button to do this. But essentially, if you use your calculator to do this, you should get 3 over 8. Okay, now, how do you do that? I'm going to show you in a minute on the whiteboard how to do that on the calculator. Okay, so just trust me that's 3 over 8. Um, or you can pause the video and try and work out how to do it on the calculator. You need to use your mixed numeral button um, to enter 37 and a half. Now, coming down to, so what I do is I pause that now, copy that down, and then we'll get on to question 2. Okay, question 2. Convert each percentage into a decimal. Okay, well, think back to what we wrote over here. Over 100 means divide by 100, doesn't it? So, this means divide by 100. Okay, put that into your calculator, 0.08. Okay, let's come over here. 43.6 is a percentage. Yes, we could do over 100, but we're converting to a decimal. So we're going to use the divide by button on your calculator. Okay? And that's going to be 0.436. So percent means divide by 100. It means over 100. Over here, what about this one? This is 18 and a half divided by 100, which equals 0.185 on your calculator. Okay. Now, Let's uh, have a look at how you would do these two calculator entries, okay? I'm just going to move the tripod for a bit. Okay, here we go. Now have a look at the interactive whiteboard here. You should be able to see the calculator on the screen there. Now, to enter 37 and a half over 100. Let's have a look. First of all, I'm going to press the fraction button. There you go. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is press shift and then the fraction button again because I need to use the mixed numeral key. Done. And then enter 37. Now use the blue key to go right. And then 1, use the blue key to go down. And then go down again in the fraction. Put 100. And then equals. You should get 3 over 8. Okay? Now what about the, the decimal? You have to convert the decimal to... Um, you have to convert the percentage to a decimal. So this one was... Um, we had to enter 18 and then we did 1 over 2 and then divide by 100 equals... Okay, now, that gives us 37 over 200. You need to press your SD button again, and that should give you 0.185. Okay, and just check in the others on your calculator, you have 8 divided by 100 equals 0.08. And then the other one was 43.6 divided by 100 equals... But look, if you get a fraction as an answer here, you can switch between fraction and decimal using the SD key, okay? So, that should help. Now, let's go back to the lesson notes. Alrighty. There we go, okay. We're good. Alright, so we are up to the next bit. Now, for those of you who want to test yourself mathematically, you could do this one here without a calculator. Alright, so here's how to do it. So, here's a non-calculator method. Alright, non-calculator method. Now, that plan is cancelled this year, but next year you'll be doing it. So, in that plan, they want you to have non-calculator skills. So how would you do this one here without a calculator? Okay, so that would be 37 and a half over 100. Okay, first thing I would do is convert this 
to a mixed, uh, to an improper fraction. So, t 2 times 37 plus 1, that's going to be 75 and over 2. And that's still divided by 100. Okay? Now, you know that when we're dividing fractions, we flip and multiply, don't we? This is really 100 over 1. So I've got 75 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 100. Equals. Right? Then I simplify. I look at this a numerator and I look at this denominator. I think of what's the highest number which goes in there. It's 25. So 25 goes in there 3 times, 4 times there. 3 times 1 is 3. 2 times 4 is 8. Okay? That's the normal calculator method for that one. And what about the, the fraction over here, 18 and a half percent? So 18 and a half percent, well, that would be 18 and a half divided by 100. I'll do the same thing here, I'll convert this to a um, improper fraction. 2 times 18 is 36, plus 1 is 37, so I've got 37 over 2 divided by 100. I'm going to call this 100 over 1. And then 37 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 100. Okay. Um, and that's going to give us 37 on 200. Okay. Um, now to work this out as a decimal, there. Okay. Well, I guess what we could do is we could think about dividing by 2, dividing by 2. This would be the easiest way, I think. Which that's going to give us straight back to the beginning. So that, actually, that's only going to give us the fraction part. So I think the best part here would be to just do this. 18 and a half uh, divided by 100. Now, Convert that to 18.5, so you convert the fraction to a decimal. That's better. Now when we're dividing by 100, you're going to go left twice with the decimal place, so 1, 2 times there. So you're going to get 0 0.185. Okay. So for that kind of question, to convert that to a decimal, I'd be looking at changing the fraction to a decimal first, and then dividing by 100. That's the non-calculated method, obviously. Okay. Next bit. Okay. Okay, so for our next bit, we're going to just write a little conclusion about what we just did. Alright, the conclusion is to convert a percentage into a fraction or decimal divide by 100 All right so eg 5% equals 5 over 100, which is a fraction, which is 1 over 20, or 5% equals 5 divided by 100, right? which is 0 0.05. Okay. Now, copy all that down on the board. You can pause the video at any time. And the last bit we're going to look at is converting a fraction or a decimal into a percentage. Okay, so our next heading, rub this off. Okay, next heading is uh, converting a fraction or decimal to a percentage. 
Okay, so how do we do that? Well, there is a way. Um, we've done all the hard work so far. So, so far you know to go from 5%, right, to 5 over 100. What are we doing? We're taking the 5 and we're dividing by 100, aren't we? Okay? So, dividing by 100. That means to go the other way, you do the opposite. Times by 100. Okay? Same thing for the decimal. So 7% we know is 0 0.07. Yep, so 0 0.07. How did we do that? We went 7, 7 divided by 100. So to go the other way, just reverse it. Times by 100. So to convert a fraction to a percentage, which is what we're going the other way now, you do the opposite to what we did before, you times by 100. To go from a decimal to a percentage, do the opposite to what we did before, times by 100. Okay? Now we can use the diagram to describe that. We're just going to do an example first. So let's have a look. Example. Right. Convert each to a percentage. I hope you can see the red. Okay, now let's do the first one to be 11 over 20. Part B will be 0.267. So two there. Part C will be so 7 over 8. Okay, so copy that down and then we're going to use this diagram to, to do it. Now, first question, fraction to a percentage. Okay, here's our fraction, here's our percentage. What does it say to do? Follow the arrow times by 100. So you're going to go 11 over 20 times by 100. Use your calculator. What do you get? You should get 55 and then put the percent sign afterwards. Okay, don't forget to put the percent. Your calculator will only give you the 55, but you've got to put in the percent on your page. Okay, next one. Decimal to percentage. Have a look at the diagram. Decimal to percentage times by 100. So you go 0.267 times by 100. Okay, put into your calculator. You'll get 26.7. Don't forget to put the percentage. That's up to you. Your calculator only gives you that. Last of all, fraction, fraction to a percentage, fraction to a percentage, times by 100, times by 100, and what do you think we get? Get your calculator, here it is, 7 over 8, use your fraction button, times by 100, it equals 87.5. Okay, 87.5, don't forget to put the percent sign. There we go. Alright, now make sure you copy all that down. And that last bit now means we can draw our diagram. Okay, this is our diagram which summarises everything you need to know for this. So, if you want to go from a fraction or a decimal to a percentage. What do you do? Well, you multiply by 100. And if you want to go the other way, you use divide by 100. Okay? That's a divide by symbol there. Right? Now, that divide by symbol, don't forget on your calculator if you want to get a fraction as your answer, you're going to use your fraction button on your calculator for that. Okay? Now, last bit. Last bit for today is ordering fractions, decimals, and percentages. Okay? So, let's have a look at that bit. Ordering. This is quite simple. Ordering. 
fractions, so write this down, ordering fractions, decimals, and percentages. Okay. Okay, now, typically, what we do is convert them all to percentages. So, to order fractions, decimals, and percentages, okay, convert each into a percentage first. Okay. So copy that down. You can pause the video. Alright. First example. Alright. Number one. Arrange. 0 0.667 66% and 7 over 11 in ascending order. Okay, now, that's an A there. What does ascending mean? Ascending, that means going up, smallest to largest. Okay, now, Let's have a look at how we're going to do that. Alright, now we're going to convert everything into a percentage. So, let's take the 0 0.667. I'm going to convert that into a percentage. Now, that means I'm timesing that by 100. Okay, have a look at your diagram. Decimal to percentage times by 100. Tell me what to do. That gives me 66.7%. Right? Don't forget your calculator only gives you the number there. It won't give you the percent. You have to write that in. Next, take 66%. Oh, well, that's already good. So, I've already done that. 66%. Well, that's just 66%. I'm not doing anything for that at all. And the last one is 7 over 11. 7 over 11. We'll have a look. To convert a fraction to a percentage, what do you do? Times by 100. Okay, let's get our calculator out. Right. Now, 7 over 11 times by 100 equals... I've got 63.63%. This is 63.63%. Now, these two digits are repeating, so you need to put a little dot above those. Now, you've got to put these in order from smallest to largest. Okay, so you look at the numbers. What's the smallest one? This one. So 63.63% 63 is smallest. And then what's after that? 66%. And the biggest one is 66.7%. Now, you could leave your answer like that, or you could put the original numbers back. So you could say, well, this... This number here is 7 over 11. This number here is just 66%. And this number here, that was 0 0.667. So that's in ascending order. Okay, now, make sure all that's copied down into your book. And the questions I want you to do are exercise 604. Do question one to ten, you can do ESP. Okay, that's straight from your textbook. And that should all be good. That should take you a little while though, so work away at it. Don't forget to check your answers at the back of the book. And don't forget to show you working out. Okay, that's it for today. See you in the next lesson, guys. Great lesson.